So this is the prone lumbar extension sequence video. So we'll go through the four different positions that the dog moves through um, for this sequence. The first position is the stand. The second position is the bow, front end down. Third position is a prone position. And the fourth position is the pelvic rock. The pelvic rock is where we get our lumbar extension. So let's go through each of those positions now. So the first position is our stand position. And as you can see, I put a few um, green dots on this dog to mark out um, important landmarks of the dog. Um, so when you do this exercise, it's important to take some video from the side so you can see where your dog's um, landmarks are and then from there you can make um, adjustments that are relevant to your dog. So the second position is the front end down. Um, we've got the treat right between those four limbs um, and we've got a nice sort of straight angle between the top of the shoulder to where the elbow is. Um, we want that elbow to come down on the ground so that we'd have a nice straight angle to where the paws are. So those elbows need to come down a little bit further onto the ground. Um, but happy with this position. As you can see, there is some arching through the lumbar region and that's what we will um, work on extending as the sequence goes on. Okay, so the third position is the prone position. So that's the dog laying down with their belly on the ground. So we can see again through the top of the shoulder to the elbow, there's a nice straight line there. Um, and then the, hopefully we've got the hind limb fully on the ground, but the dog's already reaching forward ever so slightly. So. Um, there is a little bit of distance between the, the hock or the tarsus and the ground here, but that's minor, so we won't worry about that. Um, and this is the angle of the pelvis here, um, and then we've got the lumbar across here. So the lumbar is not too rounded in this position for this dog, um, but what we will look at doing is taking the pelvis and just rotating it ever so slightly upward and forward and then what happens is it takes the stress out of the lumbar region here as the lumbar extends and the dog reaches forward so let's have a look at that in the next slide ah it's not very very clear but we can see um, that the, the dog has lifted its hind leg up off of the ground to help change the angle of the pelvis. It's come up ever so slightly and rotated um, and we can see a much flatter angle through the lumbar there. So what we've done to achieve that is take the treat from between the feet forward along the ground so that the dog reaches forward. Now we don't hold this position. All we do is we take the treat um, from between the toes forward so the dog reaches forward to, to get it. Then we release the treat. So then the dog should rotate back down into the prone position with the hind legs back on the ground. There we go. So what we'll do next is we'll have a look Add a video of that in motion. Okay. So we're in the stand. We're going to bring the treat down between the front legs. And then we're going to pull forward a little bit so that the back end comes down too. And what we're looking for is that um, lengthening through the lumbar region of the spine. So just bring the treat forward a little bit. We're not looking for a crawl forward. There we go. Just that tilt through the pelvis. Good girl. Well done. Now she has tilted off to the side now. So let me just try it one more time. That 
could be a sign of fatigue because we've done this a few repetitions now. There we go. Oh, good. Perfect. Okay. Well done. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you, Chica.